Hello and welcome to this WISE and Unity tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at how to integrate WISE into Unity so that you can begin using your WISE project in your Unity game. So the first thing that you need to do is download WISE and Unity. And assuming you have both of those things done, the next thing you're going to need to do is to open a brand new Unity project. You can see I've gone ahead and called mine WISE Unity Integration Tutorial. So once you've gone through that process and opened up a brand new Unity project, what you need to do is make sure it is saved. So go to File, Save, and just for safety, go to File, Save Project as well. And then go ahead and close out of your new Unity project. You need to make sure it's closed. So the next thing you need to do is if you downloaded WISE, you should also have the WISE launcher. So you need to go ahead and open that up and give it just a moment to do its thing. All right, now that the WISE launcher has opened up, you should see a page something like this. What you'll need to do is go to the Unity tab up here at the top, and then you'll see a list of all your Unity projects that you have. And since you opened up and saved a new Unity project, you should have yours listed right here so you can see it. So the next thing you need to do is hit this blue button. It says Integrate WISE into Project. So go ahead and hit that. And then it'll bring up a screen that'll give you some options. So another thing you're going to notice here is that a version of WISE corresponding to the selected integration was not found. Please install it. And the reason for that is that I don't have the latest version of WISE installed. I have a bit of an older version. So if you have the brand new version that comes out at any given time, this shouldn't be an issue. But if you don't, then what you'll need to do is go to this drop down here first and select all and then find your version that you have downloaded so for me it's 2019.1.37048 so once i switch that over you'll see that give it just a moment it should switch to something like this so i am all good to go now because i have the correct wise version selected so let's look at this over here for just a moment uh, the packages for this are your Unity integration and then your Unity integration extensions. By default, the Unit integration is what you're wanting, so you can't uncheck it. But the Unity integration extensions, which they do recommend, and I always just generally leave selected, is just going to add some extra things that is going to make quality of life easier for using WISE with Unity. So I would go ahead and leave that selected. Then over here on the right, you have your deployment platform. So as it looks this is going to be what you want to build your project for so by default it already comes with mac and windows support but if you're going to be doing audio for something that's going to end up on the google stadia or the uh you know nintendo switch playstation 4 um, these are all things that you need to get specific licenses for the, the windows store anything like that make sure when you're integrating your project you know what deployment platforms you're going to want your project to be on and select the according ones. So once you have all of this good to go, you need to come down here now. So if you already have a WISE project that you want to use to uh, integrate into the project, you can go ahead and use this drop down menu and select it from there. But if you leave it empty, it's just going to create a new WISE project in your Unity project folder. So that's what I'm going to do right now is just leave this completely empty. And then this should default to the correct Unity installation. But if it doesn't, you can change your version from over here and find it in your file browser. Lastly, down here, you have the options of either installing the files into a copy of Unity Project Directory and then applying the changes if successful or just going directly into the Unity Project Directory. To be honest, I have never encountered a situation where I need to use this second one. The top one is much safer, and if the installation fails, you should still have your project completely intact. So what we're going to do now is once you have everything set to your liking, you can go ahead and hit integrate right down here to the left. And then this can take a couple minutes. So just give it some time, give it a sec to load up. And then this kind of blue box should pop up right here with applying operation. And then just give it a couple minutes to do its thing, depending on how strong your computer is. It may take a little bit faster or be a little bit slower. Um, but give it just a moment and we'll be back. 
And all right, there we go. You should get this operation completed successfully, kind of green box right here once everything is all said and done. So once that has come up and WISE is integrated into your project, you can actually open your Unity project back up right here from the WISE launcher and you can open up the WISE project that it created for you if that's the route you went right here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Unity project again just to show you guys kind of what changes got made in the Unity editor now that WISE has been uploaded or integrated. So you'll notice now that we have this third tab down here called the WISE Picker. And what the WISE Picker is going to allow us to do is look at our events and our switches and all the other things that we have going on in our WISE project directly in Unity so that we don't have to keep swat keep switching back and forth. So you'll notice right down here though, and this is the last thing I want to talk about for this video, is that we're getting these errors now and that you could not locate the sound banks. Did you make sure to generate them? And because we went straight back to our Unity project directly from integrating into WISE, we actually have not. So to fix that error, what we need to do is open up our brand new WISE project, and you can do that from the WISE launcher, or you can go into your wherever you keep your project. So go to my Unity projects. You'll see I have WISE Unity integration tutorial. And then now you should have a folder with the name of your project underscore WISE project in your file directory in your Unity project. So that's the other way you can open it up. So now this is what WISE looks like. What we're going to need to do for the purposes of this tutorial is go up here to layouts, go to sound bank, and then hit new up here in the sound bank manager. And I'm just going to call this main sound bank. Hit OK. And then now with this little drop down here right next to the default work unit you will see your new sound bank so go ahead and click on the default work unit click on the platform that you're gonna to wanna to generate your banks for so I'm gonna choose Windows and then select your languages so I've got English then we can go ahead and hit generate selected or generate all if you wanna generate for all options but I'm gonna hit, gen gonna hit generate selected we should have no errors here so one message, zero warnings. And if you're wondering about what that message is, it's just this up here. So the trial mode of WISE only comes with the ability to use 200 sound SFX events. If you want to release your project commercially, you have to get a license for it, which I believe you can still do for free. You just have to register your project with Audio Kinetic. But that is besides the point. So go ahead and hit close. Then now that this has been generated, I'm also gonna go ahead and save my project just to make sure then I'll go back into unity you can go into your console and these errors should clear just fine and now you can get started using your wise project in unity so hopefully that helps and I will see you all in the next video